facing sexual harassment allegations by a party member and the sudden resignation of the party's general secretary, PNCR leader Orby Norton seems unfazed two days ahead of the much-anticipated party congress. Norton, during an interview at the Congress Place of Fire Headquarters, said Congress will go ahead as planned and that all systems are in place. He said too that the six-week timeline is adequate for the holding of Congress. And we have held Congresses before in which you had less than six weeks, um, we call it. I thought, I think six weeks were clearly adequate. Let us not forget that people were said, saying they prepare for Congress and they're ready for Congress. And it's the very people who were saying they're ready then started to cry. And they, they were, some of them were so disingenuous. They keep saying one month when in fact it was six weeks. Now, as it relates to the preparation, well, you have been through here, you, you have seen. We will be ready for Congress. Um, all the processes that are necessary for a Congress. And I want to say to you that even at the elections, it will be transparent and open, and it will stand the, the scrutiny of anyone who is not biased. Norton denied claims by the former General Secretary Don Hastings Williams that she was not integrally involved in the planning of the Congress. Congress is guided by a committee called the PNCR Congress Committee. The General Secretary sits on that committee. She was present at every meeting where the decisions were being made. That's all I would say on that. On the accuracy of the membership list, Norton said the list will be adequate and will not be called into question. The list will be credible. Each party group is entitled to check the list. They are doing that now and to um, be clear as to how many delegates they have. All of that is being done. That's in the possession of groups, etc. So I don't think the credibility of the list will be in question. According to Norton, there is no issue with financial accountability within the party. There is no issue as it relates to accountability. Finances come to the party, they go to a bank account or to the finance people and every spending has an invoice. We did an audit on some of the things recently and at the end of this we will have a complete audit of the party accounts. What we're not prepared to do is to put it in the public domain question as to whether he will appoint a general secretary to fill the gap temporarily, Norton had this to say. I don't like preempting. My major focus here, this party major focus here, is to get a successful Congress and after that we can deal with all the incidentals. Let me say this to you. The last general secretary played a similar role at Congress facilitating the information and documentation, which this GS did. However, Congress is always run by a Congress committee. Those responsible for opening ceremony like Ganesh Maipales look after the opening session, a general secretary facilitates it. Those responsible for logistics, etc., look after logistics, food accommodation, it is facilitated by the general secretary. The party has always operated like that and all the things that should have been facilitated by the General Secretary, she was allowed to facilitate. Don Hastings Williams is the second General Secretary appointed by Norton to resign with claims that she was unable to function effectively in the position. Approximately 1,200 delegates are expected to participate in the Congress according to Norton. The three-day Congress which starts on Friday will come to an end on Sunday.